Good afternoon. Welcome to Wendy Hill Kennel on a cold, snowy day. So today we're like, I think, um, 27 this morning when I got up. And we've got three inches of snow with about an inch of ice under that from all the rain. So everybody's back inside. We're not outside today for videos. This is Fergie's kids. I know, you're such sweet babies. You're not piranhas like the last one. No, you're not a chewer. You guys are not chewers. They're, now, don't get me wrong. They're active. They're playful. They're going to be chewers. They just haven't got to that stage yet. They're going to be seven weeks old on Friday. And so they are basically six weeks, five days old. I know. Hello. 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 No licking. No. No, 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 no. And the longer they're in here, the more wilder they're going to get. So, I don't know what they did with my microchipper. I see it. Okay. All right, so, I know, yep, yep. We're close to being, I might get one more video in next week, but I know they start going home here before too long, so we'll see what we get. And I really apologize. Between everything we had going on here with all the puppies, I never got update photos on. And to do them at this age, it's just crazy. So I'm gonna try and get you some really good face pictures today. No toes. He says, but I really want to chew on your pants or your toes. Hey, no, no, yes, you, no, no chewing. All right, so let's get started. This is a male, I know, he's got the green collar, I know. He's got the bandit mask, he's got the bandit mask. Let's see, there's not enough hours in my days to get all your pictures done, was there? No, I think he's got a blue eye, blue eye. I thought I saw a flash of blue. Let me see. Can you hold still? No, no blue eye. All right. So this is the bandit with the green collar. And let's see. Oh, just a minute. Just a minute. I'm going to turn it on. I'm not letting you down. Nope. I can outsmart you. Sorry. Uh, 30362 is his microchip number. Look up here, Vanessa. Chirp. There he holds still. <laughs> All right, no licking my fingers. I want you to just be still. Can you be still? Nope, no faces. What are they doing down there? I know. You're gonna, when you get this puppy home, you gotta look at the eyelash, the eyelashes, sorry to say eyelids. He has the longest eyelids, eyelashes. <laughs> he's got flapping eyelids. No, he's got the longest eyelashes. They curl up. Are you going under my leg? Uh, coats are phenomenal. Oh my golly. Uh, if, I know you can't see, but they're probably, I'm guessing two and a half inches long and it's so soft. Hello. Are you back on my lap too? But just so super, super soft. I know. And just scratch your belly. Want to scratch your belly? Oh, he says, oh, right there's a good spot. Oh, right there's a good spot. I know. Nice babies. They really are. Oh, I know you're noisy. Are you coming next? Okay. This one, quit eating the carpet. The last puppies down here ate carpet and they've got this, give me this piece. You guys are just. <laughs> this is what they will do to your carpet at home. If they find a little tiny loose spot, you're screwed. They're gonna pull your carpet apart. And so the last puppies down here, we're just having, I have carpet fuzz all over here on the floor that we just keep throwing out because these guys chewed it. All right, so this is the female. Are you, oh, wait a minute. You know what I didn't do? I didn't give you a weight on this guy. You can't get up here right now. No, you can't. You're not going to chew my zippers. I know. My shirt has a zipper, and you found the zipper. All right, so let's do the... Quit. All right, we are... Oh, we got to stay in the middle. Five pounds. Oh, five pounds even. Give me my microchipper. Oh, my gosh. Hide it under my leg. All right. Come back here, Matilda. Hey, come back here. There you go. Good girl. That's a good girl. I know. You're just as guilty as they are. Yep. So she's got lovely, lovely coat. You're going to want to just sit and run your fingers through these coats. Oh, you felt so nice. Nope, that's my toes. Thank you. Oh, I thought you had my microchipper. So neon pink collar. Let me get my microchipper. Oh, he's attacking us. Go away. All right, uh, microchip 30361. I'm gonna pin you down on the floor for a minute. 
All right, let me put him under my leg. Yeah, put you under my, no, you got my shirt. You can't come up. All right, he is so bad. I'm gonna hold you right there. Nope, you can't come. So look at the camera, look at Vanessa. Oh, you're out. She says, I'm not looking at anybody. I don't wanna look. There, now look at Vanessa. They really are sweet, they really are. She is just a fuzzball. She looks like a little polar bear. She is three pounds, looks like three ounces. No, you can't help. You're no help, put it that way. Oh no, she's four pounds. Four pounds, 2.5. All right, pumpkin. Come here, you little demon. You're chewing the carpet again. Nope, nope, nope. More carpet out there on the other side. They'll eat carpet all day long if you don't pick it up. Whoops, come up here, buddy. Oh, you're like a ragamuffin. No, no bite. No bite. <laughs> he says, really, do I have to do that? No, don't look at me, look at Vanessa. <laughs> one thing with these guys, <laughs> one thing's with these guys, you're gonna have to be strict with them. See, and I corrected him, and now he's not coming back and doing it again. No, 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 no. It is okay, I'll change my mind. Um, if you got your uh, kids, little kids, they're gonna make these guys like spastic. So you're gonna have to clamp down on them at some point and tell them, you know, set the rules down what they can and can't do. Cause their teeth are like daggers, 30363. Um, if you don't, if you don't start off your first week with these guys being strict, you're gonna pay for it um, because they're gonna realize that first week they're in somewhat control, and then you're gonna lose control. No, 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 no lick, no lick. I don't want you licking my face. But they're very smart. You will, you will be shocked how quickly they learn. I know. So you can be a nice boy when you want to be. Yeah, you can be a nice boy. Yes, you can. I know. I scratch your belly. Ooh, I found a spot, didn't I? Everybody else's spot's right here. Is yours right there? He says, my tongue's going faster the more you scratch. See, I might not be itchy, but the more you... Ooh, I, that leg's moving. I know. He says, I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. He says, just, I'll just lay here all day. This is okay. I know. You're a good girl. I know. I'm going to roll you out. Let's see what you weigh. Oh, you're just like a bag of, can you just kind of do something? To, <laughs> six pounds, 10 ounces. That was easy. <laughs> I know you were in trouble and you're giving in. Oh, you're coming back. I know you're, you're a stinker too. Yeah. But they are, they'll be very calm with you if you just set down some boundaries and limitations. If you have older people in your family, it's really important to set down those boundaries because their teeth, honestly, when you get them home, you take a look at those little, they're like little nail spikes in their mouth. And they'll actually take their teeth and rake it across an older person's hand. No. And they'll, ah, no. They will tear their skin. Um, and you can really have some problems with that. Or their toenails. Vanessa did a great job trimming no bite did a great job trimming their toenails this week toenails are another thing if you have an older person and they jump up and go across their hand they can actually tear the skin on their arm or their hands so it's really important that um, you stop that activity right up front and they know they know who's gonna let them get away with it and who's not it just depends on your atmosphere I always tell everybody the dog takes on the atmosphere of their household so if you're calm with this puppy, sure, he's going to have times he's just raging crazy. And that's when you don't play with him. You get him to chase balls. You get him to, um, you can actually put a tennis ball, drill a hole in it, put a rope in it, like a small nylon rope, and you can throw it. And then you can, you know, swing it or you can swing around and let him chase it. No. Um, so, and, you know, if you're going, if they're a real chewer, Give them things to chew on because they have to chew to get these teeth out. 
So between now and eight months old, they're gonna lose this entire mouth of teeth. So it's really important that you give them bones, bully sticks, uh, cow toes, uh, beef antlers. <laughs> she says, I just can't control my body. Ooh, she says, I got an itch right there on my belly. Yes, I do. No bite. And uh, I know I had a pup the other day get a hold of me and drew blood and he didn't mean to, but their teeth are so sharp. Are you just enjoying this? Huh? Is your dad enjoying this? Yes, he says, ooh, that feels really good. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but they do calm down. It's just, you know, if you use the high baby voice and you get them all wound up and you get them where they're just out of control, then they become out of control. So you really determine a lot of how their, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, how their activity will take place in your home. If you got kids, there's not a whole lot you can do. <coughs> Excuse me. I gotta get a drink. And, uh, but they're really good puppies. I always tell everybody, they really are good puppies. They have bad owners. So, um, it's you, you know, some people will say, oh, I don't want to correct them. They're just a puppy. Well, that's great. But, you know, you can see by correcting them, they do calm down. They do understand they can't do certain things. And if they grow up that way, it's it's much easier on you as a pet owner to start them off right. Um, if you, these guys are going in to be spayed and neutered pretty soon. Uh, time's getting close. So I did send out all of your videos. I did send out all of your email with your vitamin information in it. And uh, so if you go, once you go over those videos, if you have any questions, please call me if you're not going to be here in person and that we can't chat. Uh, I'll be glad to chat with you over the phone. I know those of you that are using a transporter, um, you're more than welcome to call me and, you know, chat. We can chat that way as long as you want. I just sit down on the couch, put my feet up. So whatever I can do to help you get off to a good start at home. Ah, nope. Thank you is what you know the best for you is what i want for the puppy because i want the puppy to have a good life an easy life and you would enjoy your puppy i don't want it to be a burden for you to have a puppy although i'll tell you the first eight months are the worst eight months of your life i'm just going to be really honest with you training a puppy is not fun it's a job it's not something no bite it's not something you can just take home and turn loose and it's going to be a great dog that's not how it works and um uh, so if you're a good parent and you have good kids, you're gonna have a good dog. If you're not a good parent and your kids are wild, you're gonna have a wild dog. So that's kind of where it goes. And I always tell kids that are just married that come in to get a puppy, 13. this is your test on how you're going to raise your children. If you have a terrible dog, <laughs> you might wanna rethink the kid thing. Uh, but they're a lot of fun. They, they provide a lot of love and they're just great babies. So. I hope you enjoyed their video. We will try and get you one more before they go home. Uh, it just depends on where the time falls and what's going on at the time. So have a good one. If you have not booked in for pickup, please call me and do so. And let me know if you did not get your videos. I'll be glad to resend those out to you. So talk to you later. Have a great week. And we're at hump day today, thank goodness. Talk to you later.